So this video is going to show you how to set up your floor planner model from the beginning with the plan of creating a roof correctly. So really, this is something if you're going to work on the exterior side of things for a floor planner, you really should set it up to begin with originally. So I already have an image brought into my floor planner model and scaled correctly. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw the walls. I'm going to, for simplicity, call them nine feet tall rather than dealing with all those little fractions. And I will start drawing my walls by just tracing the exterior. And unfortunately, I got that one not quite straight. Okay, so I'm going to go fix this wall that's not quite straight. Okay, so now what you have to consider is before even drawing interior walls, you want to set up the correct height of all of your exterior walls because as soon as you start drawing these interior walls, it splits these walls into multiple walls and it becomes a hassle to try to change the heights. So what I'm going to show you is a little calculation I already did for this um, house. So from the website, I got that the primary pitch of the roof is 6 over 12. Um, here's my initial wall height, nine feet. The width or I guess the depth of the house is 28 feet. Uh, so we have to do a little bit of math. So first of all, in this area of the roof, so this gab main gable, you're dealing with <clears throat> only the 28 feet, not the entire length of the house, which is 32, because this roof will be centered right over this wall. So we're going to say 28 feet. So that means the height across that gable roof is going to be 14 feet. Sorry, not the height, the uh, the distance, let's call it the run. So for every 12 inches of run, you get six inches of vertical rise just based on this pitch. So all that means is that if this is 14 feet across, that means it's gonna be seven feet high. So all that means is at this midpoint of these walls, this wall here is gonna be nine plus seven. So it'll be 16 feet tall here and only nine there. So how do you do that in Floor Planner? Uh, you just click on this wall and create a split. And just make sure you got the split in the middle of the wall. So you can do that if you grab this little blue dot and just click on it until you see that you're in the middle. So now I'm in the middle and I'm going to click again on this blue dot and say change height of all walls. And all that means is the height of both walls on either side of this blue dot. So the one and the two. This is instead of being nine feet, will be 16 feet. So now if you look at my 3D view, you're going to see that one side has this raised pitch. And that's fine. We can leave it at one side because if I try to find the midpoint of this wall, it's going to be shifted slightly right, which means your the axis of your roof is going to be diagonal in your house, which is not what you want, obviously. So I'm going to now draw a wall. Um, and I can change the height here to be 16 feet, or actually you can even, I think it will pick it up for you. But I'm going to now draw a wall the whole way across. And I want it to snap to vertical. I'm just gonna let it stick through the wall and then delete that point. And now what you wanna do is check the height at this wall. And so you'll see, let me show you the 3D view, that this wall, this wall you just added maintain the height that I originally had there, which was 16 feet. But now this wall and this wall is at a nine foot height. So the model's not going to look right. Right? Do you see how that those sidewalls did not um, angle up with it? So to fix that, you'd simply click on this point again. And now you want to change all of these to be 16 feet. And there you go. And now you'll see that this slope is slightly different than this slope of the wall. And that is because uh, it's sloping the whole way down to here. So what you can do here is split the wall again. Make sure this split is at the lo right location. In fact, let's do this differently. I'm going to undo that split. And I'm actually going to draw a wall straight over from here to there so that it splits it naturally for me. And now I can say at this point, I want the height of 
all of these walls to be nine feet. And that just puts all three walls at nine feet at that corner point. And now I can actually delete this wall and I still have this split. So basically what this says is the height at both sides of this wall is nine feet. The height of here should still be 16 feet everywhere. And now the slope will only go in this area. So let me show you what that means. All right, and that looks right. So now the slope is the same on both sides and you are good to now create a roof. So now to create a roof, uh, there are two places to do this. There is a choice for a roof right here. Um, and this does not have a, the, the downside here maybe is that it's a little bit less, um, I don't know, less uh, customizable, but the advantage of using this type of roof is that it does already have a built-in gutter system on there. Now, if you put this on here, you will have to stretch it. And then when you stretch the image, it doesn't necessarily take right. So this is one option. Maybe I'll do that in a different video. What I want to show you here is the other thing you can do is just draw a surface. And this is going to be a little finicky. I'm going to actually pick my points. And I know that you would normally want an overhang to a roof, but we'll deal with the overhang in a minute. And now you just zoom in and get the midpoint of that line at the corner points of your roof. And now when you see, I can keep going, I'm just gonna hit escape so that that last point doesn't count and I simply have a four corner surface. Now what you need to do is raise it from the floor. And I'm gonna say, put it at nine feet. The problem now though, is that it is actually going to be a flat roof. So I can show you that. So you can see it's a flat roof and it's inside my walls. So now what you need to do is change the height of each corner to be what it is at that wall point. Now, if you want to add some thickness to the roof by faking um, maybe a, a box or a surface in some way, you might want to raise this bigger, but let's just stick with this for simplicity for now. And the last thing we're going to want to do is add a material. Let's see if asphalt gives us, no, maybe roof. All right, I'm gonna click on that. And now this does add the roof material to both sides of that surface, but luckily you're not looking up into the roof at this point because you should have a ceiling already created in this project. And we can lastly stretch these corner points out so that there is some overhang to our roof, which is always nice. Makes it look a little more realistic. Try to make sure you're snapping so that they are horizontally across from each other. And there's your roof. Um, didn't quite, now we're going through the roof a little bit here, so you might want to raise that up at these corners. Oh. Let's give it just a little bit more. Don't forget, you can use your space bar to pan around. And there you go. You'd want to create the same roof on the other side. You could actually just duplicate it and then rotate it. I'm going to duplicate this. Oops, sorry, that just flipped it. Um, Guess there's no simple way. Maybe this one? Let's see, did that? Yeah. So now I'm just gonna put this back in its location. And there you have it. There's our main gable roof. And if you saw the, the shingles were going a little bit backwards or 90 degrees from what you might think they should be. So I'm going to go to the material settings here and say rotate. I'm giving a 90 degree rotation. I'm going to do that for both. Now you can see they're going across the roof instead of up the roof. 
Okay, now I would like to show you how to create that secondary hip roof that's over the, the bedroom extension here. So if you look, it looks like this. It has a little, I guess this isn't a hip roof. This is more of a gable roof, but um, it's going to have this sloped triangle. So let's get started with that. There's going to be some approximating, but I'm going to draw another surface. Let's give it the material now. And I'm just going to start drawing right here, and I'm going to go to the midpoint. And maybe we won't quite get the midpoint yet. And I'm just going to approximate back to here. And I also want to create it to be flat back until it reaches where the next roof is. And then I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. So now I have this triangular surface. To make sure this is really in the middle of that wall. There, now it's snapping to it, as you can see. And I'm going to create this, and I'm going to just approximate uh, the slope. Maybe three feet from there, it's about halfway across this. And if you remember across this way, it was a seven foot gain. So maybe it should be a little steeper, but let's just go with this for now. So you get the feeling for how to create it. And I'm going to snap this back so that the overhang is the same. And I'm going to bring it forward so we have some overhang over that wall. And I have to remember to make this the same height as that middle point here so that that pitch here is the same. So this is basically your peak of your roof. And these default to nine or zero. So we want these to be the same height off the ground as the other roof. Let's look at our 2D view, or sorry, 3D view. And that's looking like it's about right. You can see that we have to rotate. Oh no, actually no, that's the right. That is the right orientation for our materials. So I'm gonna go back and now that you have one, you can duplicate it and then mirror image it and snap it into place. And now our roof should be approximately right. We have that little gap up there. Um, but again, there's really no, these roofs have zero thickness. So you can try to put it right down on the wall. The other thing you're going to want to do, um, as you see, I forgot to set up this wall correctly. So I'm going to go in and set, I'm going to split this wall. Oh, and I split it where I happen to have my mouse. So I'm going to drag the split so that it's in the middle. And now the height at this wall is going to be also be 12 feet. Now, if we look at our 3D view, it is all set. Now, the challenge is if you've already created all your interior walls, it's hard to get these slopes right because all of your interior walls are going to create a split where uh, the interior wall joins the exterior wall. So this is why you really want to set this up ahead of time. So that's it for now.